Uh, in general, we have a side view, okay? We have a, a shadow, we have the wheels, we have a background, okay? And uh, when we don't have a side view, what do we do? We have a, a perspective, but basically this is the type of composition that we do, especially at the beginning of every project. However, when we are in a, uh, doing ideation, sometimes it is very nice to show our ideas. However, you don't want to show ideas that are, you know, that you, you, did, you did here, right in the, in the last corner of your page. So, as professional designers, you should think how you can organize your ideation on your page because maybe that page will be into the presentation or in your portfolio, okay, or project presentation. So, I suggest you to, when you do a lots of ideation on one page, to think about it. And what do we like when we see those pages? For example, that we have a nice, you know, perspective like that. Then we have a nice side view okay of the same car okay then maybe here we we have the front a little bit smaller you see and here of course we have our shadow that will go that way okay so you see i am building up Ciao Felipe, Felipe Rey, ciao, welcome back. So, as you can see, I am preparing, I am composing on this page, thinking about it, how I am going to do this presentation of those sketches, okay? And another thing that uh, you want to make sure, uh, maybe here we have some details, you know, maybe the lights or the, the front grille. You know, with some details there. Okay, so one thing very important is that when you make a composition, you don't want to have everything of the same size. But that would be very static. What are we looking for? We are always looking for things that are very dynamic. So the fact that I have this big drawing right almost in the center, a little bit down on the left, okay? here this already it's very strong ciao pavan welcome back thank you very much for being with us and then what do i do i had to vary it with dimensions okay so to vary it with dimensions i have to think that first of all i need a side view because the side view is my reference sketch so that people look at the side view, they look at this perspective, and they are already relating those two together. Basically, your presentation, it's going to be this one and this one. The other ones, is just to complete, okay? So I have my side, then I put a little bit of a front, okay? With this uh, front, okay? And then maybe I can put just uh, the, the back here, if I want to, okay? And then sometimes, because we have the shadow, we can compose, look, we can compose to put together, thanks to the shadow, the two images, you know? You see, it looks nice. Then we have our shadow here, of course, of our car there, okay? Then here we can have some details. You see? Where we can show the eyes of the car, you know, the light signature, stuff like that. Then we can even imagine to, to make a sort of a, a front grille. Okay.
and you can draw in transparency overlapping sketches. That's okay. Then you have to do it live because in some cases we are not gonna render both of them in the same way overlapping. Of course not. One of the two will be more than the other one because we have to think what is in the front and what is in the back, okay, in the background. So if the light is coming from here, this part will be darker. You see? So now it, it, it's starting to get some uh, good feeling. That's what I want to say. Okay, so this is an example of how you can make a composition on page. Now, what will I do? I will uh, just uh, get again my point. And, and we will try to make this into a real sketch, a real car, okay? So first I do my... Okay, here we are. All right. So first of all, you know, the way I am used, of course, I will do the side view, okay? So let's say we said that the side view is going to be here. Okay, so let's make this side view. Let's make a side view of a very sporty, aggressive car. Okay, I keep it simple. All right, so now we just put a little bit of, uh, of reflections. I hope you guys, you are sketching too, huh? of course. If you have a paper, let's do it together. So this is ideation sketch, you know, quick. Okay, so I have a little sketch, okay? And I'm gonna use that one to do the others, okay? Here we have uh, the front, you see? So I'm starting to get an idea of what I could do, you know? Okay, a little bit of sculpture. Okay, so that's the first one. Now, now that I did that, 
I start thinking, yeah, I would like to see this car from top view. All right, so I'm thinking, huh? I'm, I, I'm looking at it and I'm trying to think this in top view. You see, I'm starting to overlap the sketch with the other one. If there are mistakes, don't worry, because sketching, we're going to fix the mistakes anyway. So I'm making the front now. You see, little by little, the car is coming out. Mr. Map, how do you apply your design ideas across the entire car in crazy way? And Map, that's a very nice question. Um, as I said, uh, first I do my side view. And when you look at my side view, I have, of course, my, my center line, which is this one. As you can see, I have a particular type of section on the hood, which is bented. I mean, this is intentional, of course, make, to make the car a little bit more aggressive. Then I have this nice, uh, sporty, you know, silhouette here. And once I have that body, I decide what type of uh, eye catcher, light catcher, I have on the side, which is this one. And then I have a character line. Now, the character line it goes well as to go cohesively with a belt line. So my belt line is this one going up, okay, like a nice coupe. And then I get this character line, this one, you see, that comes down. It goes to, it, it, it starts from here, and then it's in the same area where there is this point of those two surfaces, you know, meeting together. So that's, for me, the most important part of this design and that's how i across as you said the entire car from side view i'm thinking of it now when i go in perspective i try to reproduce the same thing so my character line is this one this one is my belt line okay And now I'm fixing a little bit the perspective, okay? Okay, I have, I need to make the point. Okay, now looking at proportions. The vent has to be here. So I'm going to change that.
You see? That modification, look at the proportions. Because if you look here, the proportions is this one. You see? The first part of the hood and the second part. This is much smaller. So I made a mistake. I, I did almost 50-50. Okay. No big deal. No problem. Now, let's just imagine the top section okay a little bit v-shape okay so now look at the graphics here that we have in the front let's see how i can interpret that in this perspective Maybe like that. You see? So I have all this. Now from that view, I cannot see what's happening underneath. But I can see a little bit of that spoiler. So, the spoiler should be around this area here. Let's see. You see? All right, so now... I'm fixing the wheels, okay, to make sure that uh, it looks fine, it looks good. And the lower part that has to close a little bit okay but little by little it's coming ciao silvano bentornato all right so now a little bit of shadow shadow i need the shadow the cut shadow because it helps almost like a background it's like a free background you know when you have a nice cut shadow you have a, a dark spot that will will be like a background for your car shape So if this is my shadow, in the other side, the shadow is going to be like that. On the other side. You see? Now this one has to be a little bit longer. A little short. Now it's better. Reflection, reflection. Now, because here there is that bend, you know. Ciao, Sanzar, Murato. Ciao. Welcome back. My reflection is on this surface, is doing like that. You see? Then it comes to the bend, and therefore there is that zigzag. You see? Okay?
Okay, I have to change pencil because this one is really finished. Okay, so now that I have this composition, I will draw, I will try to make this area my focal point, okay? Because now that I look how those two are together, I want to make sure that I can read really well what I'm trying to do. Okay, so let's start. So basically what I'm going to do, I will try to render really well this part of the car, this one, and I will not touch this upper part so that the two things don't mix together too much and I have a focal point that will be here. First lecture, first lecture, second lecture. Glass reflection. So you see, there I'm making a little bit lighter because if there is a bend, the light is it's going on on that surface in a different way with a different intensity compared to the top one because of the of this type of you know changement of, of surface Okay. Now, a little bit of core on top of the hood surface. And here it's going to be a little bit darker. You see, can you feel the shape now? You see? Now you, you start understanding how is the shape of this hood. Okay, I just give a little bit of roundness, okay, to that line. Let's make a point. All right, so now that I did that, I have my side reflection here. I'll do a little bit of that.
we have a little bit of reflection here. Here. Hey, now our car is coming out. Huh? Now we have started to understand what we have. And we can criticize. We can say, I like this, I don't like that. But now we see. Now let's do the front part. So for the front part, we have to imagine to a light signature. Okay? So you see, now we have a sort of front end. And then of course we have the shadow. Of course, all this we can do also with markers, eh? with colors and everything. You see, I'm doing this on purpose because I want to make sure that I have a very good contrast on this corner, this area, and everything coming going in the back, it, it, it remains a little bit light. Why? Because then I have this element here, okay? That side view. All right, so now that I have that, I have to, to do a little bit better that side view. So you see, this is a combination, this is a composition, you know? So what do you think so far? Now looking at all this, I'm thinking that I would like to make a focus about the light, you know? the front grill, the front light, to make sure that I have a better idea. So I would, I would be looking for uh, this space here to, to show that. So I will use that corner. I'll draw very light. And I'll try to, to replicate that front. Okay, 
So that's the shape. Thank you, map. So that's the shape. Let's see. Let's see if I do that. So now I can I can go also a little bit more in detail because here it's just a nice sketch of perspective, but here I'm starting to think how I could really make that front grill with the light okay, incorporated. So let's think about it. Then I believe that here inside I have my LED module here. And then I have another line there because that's the whole light is this. So let's see, let's see what happens. First of all, I make dark what is really in shadow. You see, and now I have a sort of, uh, I, wait, I show you closer. Thank you, Francisco. Grazie. You see here the little detail. You see, now I'm thinking inside the LED module, the light signature, which is probably a guide light, the plastic uh, body, you know, light body. With, there will be a transparent glass on top, of course. Now let's think about uh, about this uh, grill. I mean, what looks like a grill. So first of all, I make everything medium gray. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing, I'm thinking that maybe I should do some detailing in terms of little holes, you know, uh, how I make those holes, you know, those air intakes. Uh, maybe I do something that is, uh, uh, um, how can I say, random or really organized. So, niente. Bravo, Francisco. Habla italiano. Muy bien. So, I make some really light lines. And those, I make those lights because that's just a guide for me, okay? It's not designed, it's just a guide. So if this is the center, okay, that's the center. So let's do something like that. You see, they are closed and then little by little they, they go a little with more space in between. So that's it, there is that shading. And of course I do the same thing with the other one. Then I do again also on the other one. Very quick, eh? you just uh, this is just an idea. Then we can modify, we can do other thing. We don't like it, we change. You see? Okay, and now I am thinking about the, the section. So the lower part, I will make it darker. And the top part, I will make it lighter. So this means that from here, I go just a little bit darker.
You see now it becomes three dimensional. Look. Can you see? So those are little things that make me think how it's formed, you know, this grill. And and it, it comes out also from those type of sections that are very, you know, that are kind of uh, architectural. Okay, so now I have the lower part here, and then I have the little wing, the spoiler, which is here. You see, now I'm trying to make uh, the whole side, where is the wheel, here we have the wheel. So this is dark, because it's this part of the section that is underneath, it's going inside. So. Uh, it uh, it is the, it's in shadow. Okay, so now you can see all the three-dimensional part of that front end. You know, little, little, yeah, uh, Silvan, it's like a storyboard. You know, I, I'm sketching, I'm com making this composition. At the same time, I am getting all my ideas, you know. Let's make the wheel. Let's put the wheel. A little bit of shadow of the wheel. Shadow underneath the car in the front view. You see, I'm overlapping the sketches now. Look. All right. Now I have to do another thing. Now look at the back. I have that line here. And I think that I, I will make it my light. You see? I show you. It looks nice. Look. You see? So I will take advantage of that line that is, was there with no intention. And it came out like, I, I was looking at that, I said, I could transform that line into a light. And it looks nice. So, I'm thinking of that. Grazie, Olivier. Just a second, I got a message. Uh, just a second, that I write a little message on WhatsApp. Come this way, my son. It's not messaging me now. Okay, so let's look at that detail. I'm really curious about that detail, aren't you? So let's do it here. I really want to see that detail big. So I'm looking at that thing, okay, and I'm thinking three-dimensionally, looking from the top a little bit, just like I did this area, but really close, okay? It's like, like I'm with my camera, 
really close to the car in perspective, okay? Three quarter back. So I, I made that line like that, okay? Then I have my, my back like that. So what's gonna happen here? So first of all, I make it dark, darker, because I want to understand if uh, it's good to make it straight or maybe it's better to make a, a little bit round, you know? Maybe it's better. Uh, it's better like that. You see? This is a little reflection on the body. Because this is body, this is light. Okay? And after we have you see? So if I make a section here just to understand each other, I have the body, which is this part here, okay? Here. Then it comes down. Then it, it comes down here, comes up again, out here, and then it makes the side, this part. You see? Now you can see it. Can you? So I am making like a sculpture, okay? Now we are going into the detail of the shapes, the forms, the volumes. And then I can make another one here. With the little radius that we have there, you see? And now we decide how is the glass of, the, of this light. Chamfer, yes, Olivier. So it's going to be, for me, a little bit round, you know? Bombay, look. And then this section here. So now, because this light is a little bit inside, okay, of this body, empty body, so it's a little bit inside, there must be a little bit of shadow. And after that, now I have to think a little bit about the graphics of this backlight. And this part, we have to make it a little bit darker so that we can see better that, that, uh, that graphics. Then we can put some lines, technical lines, on the body of this backlight, okay? Can you see? Now, map, this is not a side view. This is the corner of this part, of this part. This is the side view, 
Look, very simple. This is the side view, and I'm working from the top, looking inside the light. And that's those are the sections: top view, side section. Can, can you see now? All right. So now there is another thing we have to do. <laughs> there is always something to do. I will do this way. You see, I'm putting the light, the, 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 the wheel, and I'm not doing right. So I have to do it right. Okay, now this one is bad. <laughs> the other one was not really the right ellipse. Okay, so now that I put the wheel, I think that uh, map that is easier for you to understand. So now we are, oops, sorry. So now we are in this area, okay? All right, so if we are in that area, let's do, let's complete this. Uh, So, shadow, okay, the section that comes in, you see? And now we have the back. You welcome, uh, Sancha. You welcome. I'm glad you like it. Okay, so now light is coming from here. You see the the the, the shadow is going over there. Therefore, here is in shadow. And here there is a little bit of shadow, not too much, because this plane is inclinated, so it's picking up the light. But we have the core. Okay, so now I think that we got that back corner. All right, so now all this we don't need. So this is a page, you know, where we have multiple sketches and we get an idea. we get an idea of this car.
fix a little bit there so it looks better thank you Farouk thank you okay so now what else what what could we do we can just put the the door cut okay this is a coupe so we're gonna have only one door Now we can work on another thing. We can uh, here we can draw the the serigraphy. Thank you, uh, Matt. Look what I do. You see? Now we go into detailing some parts of this sketch the main sketch ciao mr shah from pakistan i'm fine thank you thank you for coming back so we have a little bit of the interior you know i don't know there is a little bit of dashboard steering wheel You see, just some indications. We don't need to, to draw a lot of things. Just some indications. You see, and now we have a little bit of transparency, which is always very nice. Yes, Sha, you can ask your questions. No problem, I'm here. I will answer. I will try. Let's suppose that we want to put a, you know, a bent on on top of this uh, of this hood, okay? And we want to do it like that. Very simple. You see? Now I'm going to put the same thing on the other side. You see, I, I changed the, the shading so that it shows, you see? And now I'm going to draw the section so that you understand how is the section of this hood. You see the, the section? So now you understand also how is the hood.
Only striker. Ciao. I got this pencil a few days ago. By your recommendation only, did some sketching with it yesterday. It gives so much control over shading. Bravo, only striker. Exactly. That's exactly the point. Mr. Murato, do you know Alias or other solid for 3D? I heard that it's a must nowadays. Thank you, Matt. Farouk, with pencil sharpener, do you have? I can notice that it's electric. Yes, Farouk. The pencil sharpener I have, I bought it on Amazon. I spent less than 20 euros. It's a Chinese made, it's perfect. I show you. It's this one. Okay, you have uh, electricity, battery, and you have uh, the bin in which you get all the the part the particles of uh, of uh, your pencil. It's from here and it works really fine. I think sixteen euros. It's really good thing to have. Okay, so I'm reading uh, questions. Uh, first of all, Murator, um, your question about 3D alias and stuff. Yes, it's important to know alias software. It is important to understand how other softwares work, like for example, Maya, I don't know, V-Red, to make good illustrations and, and pictures and stuff like that. Um, but it's very, very important to know how to sketch freehand. That's the most important thing for a designer. If you want to become a modeler, then it's more important that you know how to use softwares, uh, modeling softwares, like Alias, you know, uh, from Autodesk. So that's my answer to you. Mr. Shai, is artificial intelligence dangerous for car designers? Uh, I, I, to be honest, I artificial intelligence. It's something that can uh, not help. It's just another tool, but in my opinion, uh, it's a tool that can be mastered only by expert designers. Because I've seen a lot of things on the internet. There is my friend Fabio Filippini that is doing some experiments just to show. Okay the good and the bad of uh, artificial intelligence in making a design, but it's never going to be a creative thing, never, because the artificial intelligence that I've seen around, okay, on Facebook and Instagram, uh, those images is just the result of other images that are stick all together, okay, following an algorithm and, and all sort of parameters that you put it into the, you know, into the, into the thing. In my opinion, it's always much, much better to sketch because that's how you exercise your real creativity. Believe me. Okay, now I will do the last thing. And, uh, and then I will finish this uh, demo, the demo of today. So now you look at this, everything is black and white, right? Okay. Well, I, I take a blue Then I take another one All right uh, then I take this one, the same blue here. Okay. Then I take, uh, what do I take? Let's see. This sort of a purple. Okay. Then I take 
a gray okay let me choose the right gray i think i need a number seven or a number eight let's try with number seven okay olivier if you use that to stimulate your creativity that's fine i agree with you that's not bad it's only that a lot of people uh sometimes uh, rely too much on those tools thinking that the tool will do everything it's not the case so look i'm making the reflections now So what am I doing? I am changing a quick sketch into something that is a lot more than a sketch. Okay? So, now I will take a black color, which is this one, and I will do really the highest contrast, you know, the darkest spot. okay now i use my white pencil this one and i do a little bit of reflections You see, I'm getting light. Okay. Now there is another thing I have to do. A little bit of warm, warm light. Okay. No doubt that thing is going to make the whole thing really really beautiful so let's do it not too much huh You see? And the last thing I will do, we're gonna put two highlights just to give that accent. Okay, so look how I do. This is a brush number three made in china or korea i don't know but those are typical oriental made 
and uh, and those are really good. Okay, so look. Okay, that's it. I go and wash my the brush and I let you watch and look the whole composition. And right in the So what do you think? Thank you, Matt. So the good thing is that uh, this uh, that this let, let me see if I have uh, only the top camera selected already. Uh, no, I don't have it. Okay, I will do this way. You see, what is interesting is in this composition is that we see a lot of the, the cut, okay? And then we have a little color sketch up there that becomes something very romantic. Thank you, Farouk. So you see, this is, a, this is a, an example. That we can make up many other examples so with the lots of different type of... Uh, you know, of, of proportions, uh, design styles, but this is an example, you know, of what it means to make a composition on page. This is one of the examples. It's not the only one, of course. Now, if you want to offer me a coffee, you have the super sticker button, super chat, whatever. Okay, you can do it. Thank you, Francisco. Muchas gracias. All right. So, I think that I finished my live today. Do you have any particular questions for me? So if you do, I will, uh, I will uh, be happy to answer. At the same time, I change camera, okay? cable stuff I... okay so here we go oops that way so this is our result today and yes uh, it's true that uh, the silhouette inside view it looks elegant Prego, Derrian Olivier. My pleasure. It looks kind of elegant, it's true. The top view uh, got to improve that. Uh, but it shows a lot of things, you know, in terms of research, you know, creative research, that sketch, that top view shows, uh, shows interesting things. I mean, you could look at those sections and volumes you could you could really manage to make a, a car maybe with different proportions Felipe Art Center College of Design I have been also a teacher of uh, Art Center Europe when the school was open in uh, Switzerland 
and uh, and I have been a chair of transportation design department at Europe Design in Torino because I am the one that opened up, you know, I'm the one that opened up the department in 1994. So, but I am a designer. I was I started as a designer in Fiat, and uh, since 23 years I'm design manager here in Renault. Joao Enrique, hola, como estas? Did you help design of uh, Fiat Stilo? I I worked on uh, on uh, for the Fiat Stilo. I was uh, uh, heavily engaged, okay, in design for the dashboard, the dashboard, the seats, and the, and the door panels. But the one that I did in the next year was the Fiat 600. This one. This one. That's my baby. That's the first baby. And then I worked on the on the, on the Renault Twizy. Yeah, that's me with François Lebrun, Eduardo Lana, Patrick Le Charpy as our director, and I was a design manager for this project. Okay, you welcome. My pleasure. Uh, prego Felipe Felipe ma tu dove stai in Italia? parli così bene italiano Felipe Rey uh, ma non sei italiano secondo me uh, Only Striker what do you think about companies creating or, or transitioning into different design lanes for line up product cars but I think Only Striker it's important to change you know you cannot do always the same thing but at the same time it depends of course how you do it you know so for those that just arrived that's what we did today, okay? Yeah, a lot of work. Because now I see we are 15, okay? Uh, grazie, Joao, grazie. I have designed companion to the Tweedy for my first batch of project. All right, Olivier. Merci, eh? Merci pour le cadeau. <laughs> Very nice Tweedy, one of the most exciting ring -off. Thank you, Farouk. Thank you. Okay, so. I understood that we had fun today too, so I tell you to see you next, to meet here next Friday, ok, for another design, Peruviano, ok, quindi sei a Torino, perfetto, bravo Felipe, Silvano, free and sketches are more closer to the ideas rather than software, so of course Silvano, exactly, that's exactly how I feel, <laughs> ok, quindi, one, two, three, grazie, 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 and see you next Friday, 5.15, ciao.